General says IRGC was in Bosnia disguised as aid workers. The Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps on April 17th denied the veracity of remarks by one of its former generals who has claimed to have worn Iran's Red Crescent Society uniform for military purposes during the civil war in Bosnia. Sayed Kasami, a retired IRGC general, maintained on April 14th that he had visited Bosnia in the 1990s to train Bosnian Muslim fighters against the Serbs while wearing the Iranian Red Crescent uniform. Kasemi's remarks come just days after the US State Department listed the IRGC as a foreign terrorist organization, accusing it of supporting militant groups around the world. Following Iraqi Shiite militias, Hezbollah shows up in Iran under the pretext of helping flood victims. The representative of the Lebanese Hezbollah in Iran says a significant number of young Lebanese people are currently in Iran helping relief operations for the flood-stricken people. Critics argue that the real reason for the presence of loyal foreign militias under the cover of flood relief is to prevent protests by Iran's flood-stricken population. Last week, there were protests in the oil-rich Kurdistan province, with a large crowd marching down the streets of the provincial capital of Az. Pompeo. Trump will continue to ratchet up pressure on Iran. On Wednesday, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo told a U.S. Senate committee, I can assure the rest of the world that President Trump will continue to ratchet up the pressure on the Islamic Republic of Iran so that their behavior will change. Senator Ted Cruz and some other Republican members of the Foreign Relations Committee urged Pompeo not to continue the oil waivers when a deadline comes up next month, saying Iran's exports are generating billions of dollars in revenue for its government. Iran, protest by plundered investors of Caspian Financial Institute. A group of investors at the Caspian Financial Institute rallied on Tuesday in front of Tehran's financial prosecutor's office, demanding their plundered money back by the Revolutionary Guards affiliated institution. The protesters were heard chanting, Caspian is robbing our money and the government is defending it, and we will remain here until our money is returned. Child abuse rises 10% in one year in North Khorasan province. Ali Akbar Saranavad, the social deputy of the General Welfare Department of North Khorasan province, announced Child abuse in the year March 2018-19 to has targeted kids between 5 and 11 years old, showing a 10% increase compared with the previous year. Girl children made up the majority of victims of child abuse. The Child Protection Bill is still in a state of limbo after 10 years, being passed back and forth between the Parliament and the Guardian's Council. Meanwhile, over the past 10 years, many children have been abused through rape, physical abuse and harassment. Iranian female fighter cancels return home after arrest warrant issued. The first Iranian woman to contest an official boxing bout has cancelled plans to return home after an arrest warrant was issued for her in Tehran, a representative said on Wednesday, as Iranian authorities issued a denial. Sadaf Kadam beat a French boxer, Anne Chauvin, in the bout, which took place in Western France on Saturday. Her representative, Clara Daly, told Reuters that authorities had issued arrest warrants against her and fight organiser Maya Mishipov. <laughs> 